Hello, I am Micah. I'm with Living Earth Structures outside the Santa Rosa Community Market. This is the Pop Beehive Oven. Twelve people came from the community and we worked together. And so this is now a community public oven. You make a fire right inside of here and it gets about 900 degrees in there so a pizza cooks in just a couple minutes. Just about anything you would cook in a regular conventional oven it'll just come out tasting much better and certainly have a lot more soul. One nice feature about the ovens too is that there's a copper tube in here so when the oven's hot you can put cold water right here the tube, tube coils around and then it comes out here. People from the community came and they put their hand prints all right, this here is these are my prints. There's uh, different people. There's footprints here. There's a, even a, a nose print right here. There's some, a dog paw over there. And historically, communities always gather around the oven to bake their bread, to get warm, to tell their stories. It would always the hub hub of the village would always be the oven. So uh, this this is a tradition that I'm trying to bring back community center, any school. These are great for school projects. We're gonna go on a little tour of different projects around Sonoma County and Marin where we have built different structures like this. So you can see uh, different examples of uh, natural building, cob, adobe structures in action. So now we are at a site of another oven bench. Uh, I actually did this one last year. So this one actually has a roof over it. This is fantastic. The inside of the door has metal on it so it won't burn. So I actually worked on this one with a group of uh, Latino gang kids I was working with last summer. And so we set this together. And so this one also has a little wood storage below. So you can store all your, uh, your kindling down here. And uh, yeah, this one, they have a, a bellows for stoking the fire. And you can also use this also to make a fire down here and the fire will go up and heat up the bricks also from below. So this here is an oven that uh, I did last year. Um, and uh, this here, this is the owner here. All right, this is Larry. Looking good today. This is the old English style oven that actually doesn't use a chimney. We didn't seal this oven. Uh, normally I actually put a sealer. This is an earth plaster, right, an earth plaster. Uh, using earth right from over there, a nice kind of reddish brown earth. And so we uh, you know, put that on, but we didn't seal it because we wanted to keep the, uh, we didn't want to trap any moisture that was you know, in the smoke and things in the oven. However, that actually caused some issues. Uh, it rained pretty hard yesterday and this didn't get covered and so we had some, some problems here. So we're gonna come, I'm gonna come back when this dries out and I'm gonna fix this up and, and patch that up. And uh, I'm probably actually going to have to seal the whole thing also. I've got a, a grill that slides in that you leave the fire there when you get nice coals and you put the grill and it's elevated. And I've cooked uh, chicken and steak and shish kebabs and uh, all kinds of different foods that way and that also works really good. This project here is at Oasis Farm in Petaluma and I'm with the uh, proud, o proud owners of the property. This is Wayne, Wayne and, and Connie. Yeah. Wayne and Connie. And um, we're at a site where we did a workshop uh, a few months ago um, where we had about 15 or so people here and maybe more in different parts of the day uh, build this structure. So this is an oven, right? So this is one of the cob ovens. And uh, cob oven and bench. We're calling it a love and oven because, yeah, as you can see, it has a big heart in the hearth. And so, and then we have these benches here. Right. So these are very nice and, and comfy. And so the backs of the benches were all made with adobe brick, and we actually used all the uh, the bricks that we used were made from adobe bricks that we made right up there. And the the earth here is perfect for building. I'll show you kind of a sample well this is actually pretty sandy stuff but yeah Deeper so down. yeah so deep down there's pretty much a perfect consistency of sand to clay in this earth it's about 70 percent sand 30 percent clay which is really what you want so the value of this property has just increased so much now that there is a good building material we love to share what we do with the community and we know when our barn is built and our house is built, less than a year, we'll be able to be out here, have 
maybe a hundred people <coughs> for music or yoga or a political event or whatever we want to do and just keep the fire going for hours not just for food but for the warmth of it and uh, everybody loves it just absolutely loves it all right so now we are out of sight at the petaluma bounty farm this is a farm that uh, produces food for uh, homeless people and elderly and low income and so we did a workshop last summer and we built this uh, this oven um, this is actually we call this the cobster because the the mascot of the farm is a rooster right so we did kind of a, a cobster so this is a you know here the cob oven so actually the chimney of the oven is here in the mouth and then so the, here's where we here's where we do our pizza and uh, they, they have a pizza garden here where they have basil and tomatoes and onion and peppers and things like that. And so they use those ingredients to put on the pizza and, and put into the oven. The foundation of this was made with tires, uh, this rubber car tires filled with earth and then sculpted these little uh, you know flowers on the back and things. And this is a, a goddess oven that I did here in the backyard of Petaluma. And so uh, the client wanted a uh, kind of a nice, peaceful garden goddess, so this is what we did. Um, this also is using earth right from here. I dug a hole right over here, I got the earth, and then uh, took that earth and added some sand to it. And uh, we had a tarp right here, and we mixed up the earth right here, and then took that earth and then sculpted this. So this also has the linseed oil sealer, and uh, the colors come from iron oxide pigments that we added into the linseed oil. Um, it also has the hot water feature right here, pour cold water there, coils around and comes out hot right here. We actually put uh, the handprints of all of her family members here. So here's some handprints there, handprint, handprint. The drainage holes right here so water can drain out. So these are just, uh, you know, kind of like pine flowers almost that kind of drop to the ground. So I kind of glued those in. And we actually did this oven and bench in uh, a front yard. Uh, so they wanted an oven that they could use for um, kind of their neighborhood gatherings. They have 4th of July block parties and things like that. One of the things that they want to do here is they're going to be planting herbs here. They'll be planting tomatoes and basil and peppers uh, all along here and along here. Take the tomatoes off the vine, take the basil off, put it on your pizza, and then just put it right directly into the oven. All right. So we are now at another oven um, here in Petaluma. We're in the backyard of our friend Trayton. Yeah, it's, it's really been an amazing uh, element to have in our backyard, especially for building community. Our organization does quite a few, quite a few events and really focus on educating people about um, rebuilding the skills of local self-reliance and building community and having a good time. So to have gray water systems and rainwater and bees and chickens and a cob bench and oven that we could then use prunings from our trees to build fires and then feed our family and friends uh, is really rich. And so we've had events with 50 to 100 people in the backyard of local elected officials and leaders. And to actually get the smell it, touch it, feel it, taste it, um, that feel the world being born, this healthy, just, sustainable world. So it's, it's a really cool element um, that we're, we're stoked to just have be a part of our lives and our garden and as a model for daily acts and the education we do. We installed a permaculture landscape at the Boys and Girls Club across the street. And so we put in a lot of food trees and we put in some water harvesting earthworks. And when we did that, we basically dug these on contour drainage basins to receive the rainwater. And so we had all this leftover clay and getting rid of the idea of, oh, we have to take it away. You know, where is away? And so we were actually able to integrate the waste stream from the site across the street into this bench as well. So this is a mushroom oven. So uh, this, you know, so the, the base here was done actually with a wire fencing filled in with rubble, and then that was cobbed, and then did a cantilever and built this mushroom out. This here is a meditation dome that uh, I built this year, uh, right after I got back from Africa, and uh, this was made out of adobe bricks. So I got all the earth right on site. I dug a hole here for the foundation 
and also dug a big hole here and got a lot of the earth and mixed it with sand and uh, made adobe bricks. So we had about 500 adobe bricks drying out here. And uh, so this was just, you know, there was no form or mold or anything. It was just used, used uh, making kind of a, a string line compass to kind of create the shape that we wanted. And then each adobe brick was just kind of placed accordingly. So, uh, and then I put a, a frame, kind of a Roman arch frame over here, put adobe bricks in here, and then took out the frame. And uh, same thing with the windows. And we put bottles in the, the roof there to bring in colored light. This is where I make my adobe bricks. This is where I get my earth. So I have to add sand to this to make it about 70% sand, 30% clay. And uh, so I just, I mix this up with some water and some straw. And, uh, and if I don't have straw, then I'll use pine needles. So I build benches also, I call them peace benches. So this would be an example of a peace bench, right? It's part of the peace bench project. So we can get one, two, three, four, five people sitting here. And uh, you know, it's just this really nice seating area. This is my little uh, adobe cob sauna. Well, so this is a, there's a 50 gallon barrel drum here. So you make a fire from the outside and the barrel drum gets really hot and then you uh, put water on it and it steams up. So it gets incredibly hot in here, it works really well. I like to say every man needs a cave. <laughs> we have a cob a hot tub and cold plunge. Water is pumped through the oven inside, inside the cob and also inside the hearth. And you can even look inside the fire and see the fire as you're taking a hot tub. And then you take the, the pizza out. We use this here. So we put the pizza on a little raft like this and kind of float it around. Uh, this is in the backyard of the Sea of Bamboo. It's a retreat spa. And, uh, and so we have this oven. Uh, we call this the Pachamama oven. Pachamama is mother nature. And so we have an oven with uh, you know, a nice uh, belly where you can cook your pizzas right here and uh, it also works as a fireplace so you can sit inside of the hugs you know the pugs of the mama right like this so you can comfortably seat about 10 people sitting around here the whole seating area will get nice and warm nice outdoor fireplace and uh, so you know the idea is you'll you'll put your pizza right in there you know and then you you, know, you push the, the coals to the back like that and then you take your your cook your food there and then you take your peel, put it in, take your pizza out, you enjoy it, tastes great. And this also has the, uh, the hot water feature where you can, there's a copper tube inside, like just about all my ovens have this feature. So you can put cold water inside the oven and then it'll coil inside the oven and it'll come out hot. So you can have instant hot water for tea. And it gets very hot too, right? So. Ah. This here is an oven um, at the Sonoma Ashram um, out by their pool. And uh, so as you can see, we have a kind of a, a sun oven. And uh, so here is our oven. And uh, so we got some benches here so we can enjoy the, the fire when sitting around and a little wood storage area below and I put in some rocks here just to help keep water from wicking up. So we are now here in Petaluma at the Green String Farm on the east side Petaluma on Adobe Road and this is an oven here that I did last summer. We did a weekend workshop and uh, so we built this oven here. I uh, did the foundation with uh, just chunks of concrete that were here and then uh, built this. And we did this uh, pretty much in a two-day workshop. So we built on Saturday and Sunday, we made a fire in there and cooked some pizza. And um, so the, uh, the interns that are here, they made this nice roof. So that's, that's really nice. That's, it's always advisable to have a roof, that's an option. And uh, so yeah, so they, they use this a lot here. Usually on Sunday nights, they use this for baking pizzas. And then the next morning, it's still warm for baking bread.
So we are here at the Petaluma Adobe. This is uh, General Vallejo's uh, fortress he built back in the 1850s. And um, this is actually where I got my earliest inspiration to do natural building. This is where it was my first exposure to natural building as a child coming here on field trips. So this is a very special place for me. So this is the, my first oven that I experienced. This is a, a wood-fired oven, right? So this is a, a very big oven, you know, it's very big. It's actually with brick. It's brick, so it's not cob, it's brick. And, um, and it takes a long time to heat this oven up. The walls are very, very thick. So they actually heat this up for about six hours before they use it. But this whole building here is, uh, is all made out of adobe, right? This is a, an adobe, you know, adobe brick. This is actually just half of an adobe brick. But the, um, the walls on this structure are very thick. The walls are like 30 inches thick. And that was to uh, keep it very cool on the, in the inside on a hot day and also to help support the, the weight of the second roof. Um, so this here, this is actually the, the largest uh, adobe um, building in Northern California. Um, so um, and it's pretty great that it's right here in Petaluma, right where I'm doing my work. So kind of the work that I'm doing with Living Earth Structures is that I'm kind of trying to pick up where General Vallejo left off with the natural building, building with the earth, um, but instead of building square structures and, uh, and having, well, Native American slaves <laughs> doing them, um, have them be more rounded, more curved, and, and more fun, and have uh, workshops, and have kids involved. And, and uh, so I, I think of Cobb as kind of the, the modern, um, the, the adobe of the future. So we are now uh, back at my house in Petaluma, and we are at the site of the Earth Fort. Um, this is an uh, earth fort that was actually made at the Santa Rosa Fairgrounds and uh, transported, forklifted uh, onto a flatbed truck and brought here to our house. And uh, so this is made out of a bamboo frame with um, some wire mesh and some cob over that. And um, so yeah, this is just a nice little play structure for the kids and you know, it can even be a, you know, a place to sleep even. So now we are at a site of the Luma oven, right? So this is a, an oven, I call it a Luma, it's kind of a bird. Um, it's in Petaluma, so it's, uh, there's an old Petaluma joke, you can pet a cat, you can pet a dog, but you can't pet a Luma. And so now I'm showing that you can pet a Luma, you can cook in a Luma, you can get warmed up in a Luma, you can just sit and be hugged by a Luma. This is the uh, sound chamber dome here at the Crystal Chalice. So this is, uh, it's, uh, it's used for sound healing. So the, the owner does chanting and toning and uses crystal bowls and, and so uh, it has very good acoustics inside. So this is made with a, a bamboo frame, right? It's bamboo and then uh, wire mesh and then burlap sacks dipped in a wet clay slip and then Cobb put over that on the outside and inside. So the walls are about four inches thick or so. And then it has about four coats of sealer, linseed oil sealer with some mineral spirits and some diatomaceous earth. And uh, so yeah, um, there's stones kind of like you know, put into the doorway, a sound spiral. There's a skylight up on top. Um, inside the skylight, there's prisms to let um, rainbows in. One of the great things about Cobb is about how easy it is to repair. Uh, this was this is a space that was never really utilized at all before, and uh, so we put it to good use and just put the Cobb right over the, the fence and uh, Cobb the mailbox, nice arch, and uh, Cobb put an Adobe around the smart meter box. Did this Cobb tree going up the wall. Going along. Yeah. On my website, livingearthstructures.com, there's uh, 50 reasons of why it's good to do natural building. 